Hi, this video covers how to use vector plots. And we're going to start from basics and then show an example of courtesy, courtesy of one of our clients. And the background is um, we, we came up with this rather complex challenge. And to solve it, we started simply with a 2D plate with a hole, and then we moved to something axisymmetric. And then we, at the very end, we were able to check it against this real model. And, and we knew it could be right because of the background of doing the 2D plate and the 2D axisymmetric. So let me show you where we started from. So this was where the initial challenge was. It's a nonlinear analysis. It's called contact. And, and it's a, this is a helicoil. And this is a preloaded setup where we're preloading the thread through through this section and the stresses and and we were a little bit unsure if the stresses were correct and so we wanted to do a vector plot so we backed up it's okay let's do something that we know and this is where it's a standard hole in a plate 2d and we know we should have a stress concentration of three in the pattern but to do the vectors we go in we'll turn on arrow and we'll go down to contour arrows like that. And we're going to do 2D components like that. And this is where you set up how you want to see it. We'll do double and we'll do it at the center. Okay, and arrow will be components. And you go to advanced options. And this was the key is that, you know, the output vectors on arrow one, it's really going to be two vectors and the Y and the X like that. And this is the trick. So, and by the way, we have to turn on transform because they're plates and otherwise the stresses are going to be an individual plate coordinate system. So this is into Y like that. So the transformation is important. You get the transformation right and you pick everything else, you're going to get this. And one of the ways we checked it is that we knew this on top had to be a thousand because that's what we set the stress. So this is the utility of doing a, a problem. You know exactly what the result should be. So you can say, okay, I got the vector in the right direction. I got it set to a thousand. And then when you go down here, it all makes sense. And I hit control G there to redraw it. And it's at the centroid. And that's why it's not showing 3000 here, but the direction is right. And as we'd expect, it's compression up here. So we got that figured out. Then, since the problem was actually symmetric, that was a little bit harder because it's more of a 3D and you just can't pick the vector direction. You have to align it to the material coordinate system. And that's what we're showing here. This is the material coordinate system set in this thing, in this direction, vertical in the Z. And that took a little while to figure out that, you know, 3D, you gotta do a, you know, coordinate system transform is into material direction. And then you go to contour arrows and like that, advanced up, same setup. We're going to do a vector of the axial and the radial. And when that's set up, yes. Now remember, this is actually symmetric. So this is a hole. This is a hole in a solid chunk. And so the theoretical stress concentration is two. So 2,000. And But the stresses you see, a little bit different angle. I'll hit Control G to redraw the arrows. And it's just what you'd expect like that. And again, compressive. And the material direction is shown. I hit F6 to bring up view options. And you go down material direction. I can turn that off right there to there. Then you just have nice arrows. And these are, by the way, these are resultant arrows. Which means it take two vectors, and they and and so it's always going to be positive. So even though this is compressive stress here, it's going to show positive. Same here, and that's because it's resultant. Now the coup de gras, <laughs> the more complex, and I have this set up to only show, you know, stresses on 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 the active part, and and that is via your contour options here. Contour group is only active like that. And now what we're doing is we want to show the vec arrows like that. And it's already set up. It's set up the same way as the other one. Just like this, 2D components. And this is where this was really useful to, to dig into because on a situation like this, stress flows. It's like fluid. It's like a CFD plot. And it has to behave like that. And 
we have contact going on. And so even though we don't get the positive, you can see that how, isn't this beautiful, the way this flows? And right here, this is compressive, even though, and you can see what you would expect to see is the, is a stress direction normal to this contact interface. And then here you see the flow and the circulation, and ah, it's just great. It just makes perfect sense. And this is, was one of the great utilities of doing this vector plot, is that it really made sense about how the stresses would work and how it would flow. Well, I'm 30 seconds over. I'm going to stop here. And this is how to set up on a contour for, for doing vectors. And also, we want to remind you guys, we have a lot of other tutorials, and we have white papers, and, and downloads, and videos, and all sorts of stuff to help you go through. And we're here to support your efforts. So please reach out, call us if you're a client. If you're not a client, we, we welcome your business. Have a great day. Bye-bye.